silliest part you want to marry me next, Belinda? Yes, Lord Mayor. Then prove yourself worthy. Travel around the world in 80 days. Impossible! We shall do it. And bet your 20,000 pounds you can't hit the bed. Around the world in 80 days. Oh, Phileas, do be careful. My uncle is sending this man named Six to stop you. Don't you worry, mademoiselle. Ah, as his companion shall watch out for Monsieur Pete. Around the world in 80 days, so fog, they very blind amaze. Around the world with... Then, young Passepartout, we have just 15 minutes to board the boat for France, so we had better get packing. Very well, monsieur. What can I pack this time? Hmm, well, uh, just a few items, I think. One sheet of newspaper, an ice bag, a compass, and, uh, oh, yes, a monkey wrench and a toothpick. Sheet of newspaper, ice bag, compass, one monkey wrench, and a toothpick. There! Where is Toto? Oh, you bad little monkey! Come, Toto! Today, we cannot afford to waste any time. It is absolutely essential that we be in Paris at four o'clock. Exactly four o'clock? Not a minute later. At that exact time, I must meet an old friend, Mr. Alberto Santos Dumont. If we do not meet him at precisely four o'clock, we shall never make it around the world in 80 days. He is the key to our success. Then let us be off, monsieur. Precisely, my boy. Hear that, Mr. Fix? Every word, Mr. Fix. Key to the old thing, Mr. Fix. Even one minute late and fog loses. All you have to do is slow them down, Mr. Fix. Nothing to it, Mr. Fix. You have a plan, Mr. Fix? Have I got a plan? Have I got a plan? I'll fix that fog! <laughs> One derby does not make a fix. No, no, no! You are too trusting! I take no chances! Monsieur Fix is very tricky! Aha! Oops! Pardon, Monsieur Cello! Have you seen a fat man with a derby and an umbrella? He looks like this! His name is Fix. He is trying to stop us from getting to Paris. You see, we must go around the world in 80 days so Fogg can marry Blind the Maze. Is that a fact now? Keep a sharp eye out for him. Hello, sir. They're getting closer to Paris every minute, Mr. Fix. But I will never make it by 4 o'clock, Mr. Fix. See this magnet? I will put it next to the ship's compass and it will make the compass wrong. The ship will head north instead of east. Brilliant, Mr. Fix. I think so. I'll fix that fog. Fix tricks, fix tricks. That is suddenly Monsieur Fix. I think not. But Monsieur, an umbrella and a derby? Even an umbrella and a derby do not make a fix. Never jump to conclusions, or conclusions may jump on you. This time, I'm sure, I must protect you from Monsieur Fix!
It appears that conclusions are jumping all over the place. <laughs> Why don't you go below for a spot of tea, mate? I'll take the wheel. Oh, thanks, mate. Uh, the course is due east, and the captain wants you to steer right on it. Due east it is, mate. <laughs> as soon as I put the magnet next to the compass, so east becomes north. <laughs> we'll end up in Norway. That's odd. I do believe we've changed course. The compass, please, pass by two. Hmm. We should be going east, but we are going north. We can't afford to lose any time. Something is wrong. Fix tricks! Fix tricks! It is the captain! He is Monsieur Fix in disguise! He is trying to make us miss the train! Now, pass by two. But I am sure of it, Monsieur Fogg! He is even wearing a moustache! Nonsense, pass by two. Mr. Fix has black hair. You do not have enough suspicion! Monsieur Fix is a master of disguise. It's a wig, I'm sure of it. The moustache is the same, and we are going in the wrong direction. Even that isn't enough to make it Mr. Fix. Never jump to conclusions, or conclusions may jump on you. Nevertheless, I will investigate. Mind your helm. Play that. Shiver me timbers. It is Monsieur Fix. I'm sure of it. He must be wearing a wig. I shall find out. Parlez-vous! <laughs> 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 Once more, I've made the mistake. Pardon, mon capitaine. Mistake? Mistake? I'll say you've made a mistake. Seize him! Throw him in irons! Hang him from the yard arm! Kill all the swamp! Oh, this conclusion is about to jump on me! <laughs> Pardon, monsieur! Catch him! Catch him! Did you? Now, be quiet for a while, both of you. That's good chaps. I shall go to the bridge and straighten out the captain.
beg your pardon, sir, but I do believe your compass is in error. Haven't I got enough trouble without some landlubber telling me my compass is wrong? Uh, but it is, sir. My compass says that we are going north. Yours says we are going east. How do you know yours is right? Observe. Shiver me timbers, a magnet! Precisely. But who? I think you'll find him right. Gone. Here, Maggie, give me a hand with this lifeboat. Got to move quickly. The boat she's sinking? No, no, just testing the lifeboat for leaks. Regulations. Now look alive. No, no way. Faster, faster. Right, go, right. Ta-da! 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 Uh, fix tricks! Fix tricks! Blooming <laughs> right, it's fix tricks. And next time, it's going to be the last one. Oh, fix that form. Just you wait. We missed the train for Paris! We are running behind schedule. We have to catch that train at the next station or we'll not be able to meet Mr. Santos Dumont at four o'clock. Good work, Mr. Fix. That'll never make it to Paris on time. <laughs> Station ahead, make a stop. Look, Monsieur Fogg, the conductor, could it not be Monsieur Fix? Pass part two, don't be foolish. That is no more Mr. Fix than I am. Never jump to conclusions, or conclusions may jump on you. But it is perhaps a disguise. We must be on our guard. You don't have enough suspicion. At the first chance, I shall unmask him. Meantime, I shall warn the engineer. You can always trust the engineers. Uh, monsieur, the engineer, uh, pardon. What is it, lad? Want to look at the engine? No, no, monsieur. This is very serious. I wish to warn you about the conductor. The conductor? Oh, yes. He may not really be the conductor. He is maybe Monsieur Fix in disguise. He really looks like this. He will try to stop the train so that we can't get to Paris by four o'clock. Aha! I thought there was something funny about him. There's a new man and acts suspiciously. Grab him the minute he asks for your ticket. I will need your help to tie him up. You can count on me, lad. Good! When I call, you run in. Right on, right, sir. Board! <laughs> Well, you failed to slow them down, Mr. Fix. Lord Mays will be very, very mad. But I have a plan. It better be a good one, Mr. Fix. It is brilliant, Mr. Fix. Well, I'm going to turn down the steam pressure in the boiler, throw away the control lever, and step off the train. So, when the pressure drops to here, the train will slow down and finally stop. They won't even get to Paris by tonight, let alone by four o'clock. This is brilliant, Mr. Fix. I think so. I'll fix that fog. Right on schedule. Very good. Monsieur, tickets. Tickets, s'il vous plaît. Thank you now.
time to read the paper? Observe. I slide the paper under the door. Hand me the toothpick, please. I push the key through, thusly. Pull back the paper, and there is the key. Now, we open the door. What a genius! Now for the engine. Hand me the monkey wrench, Passepartout. Oui, monsieur. To Lord Mays, Mays Hall, Musty Moors, Sussex, England. Got that? Oui, monsieur. Your lordship. <clears throat> Mission accomplished by the great and brilliant efforts of yours truly. Phileas Fogg and Pass Patu have been delayed indefinitely by the genius of your obedient servant. That's me. It is doubtful if they will even get to Paris, let alone around the world. Therefore, I am herewith returning to England to collect my reward. Signed, Blimey! Ah! Ah! Monsieur Blimey is not well? It's them! It's them! But the telegram, monsieur! Telegram, telegram, forget the telegram! Gendarme! Gendarme! Help! Help! It's the matter, right? The Englishman, he has run off. I fear he is ill. You must help him. Huh? Hey, never fear. I will find him and help him. Ah, there he is, running away. Quick, I will catch him. Stop! Stop! In the name of the Republic! Oh, oh Mr. Fix, this is an unexpected turn of events. A brush with the French constabulary. Mr. Fix, if you are to stop Fogg, you must escape. Right, Mr. Fix. Stop, I say! I want to help you! I want to be your friend! Let me help you! What, Mr. Fix? Fogg has arrived in Paris. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. You better think hard, Mr. Fix. You said that slowing them down was the key to the old thing. And so far, you haven't slowed them down at all. That's it, Mr. Fix. You said the magic word. Key, key. Ah, I'll fix that fog. Just you wait. Well, we made it nicely in time. In spite of our friend, Mr. Fix. Ah, Monsieur Fogg, I wish we had time to show you Paris. It is the most beautiful city in the world. Aha, gentlemen. You like our beautiful city, no? And that is très bon. Because, are you ready for this? Because you are the one millionth visitor to gay Paris, I welcome you on behalf of the city fathers and invite you to a small ceremony where we will present you with the key to the city. I say now, that's jolly decent of you. Just where is this ceremony? At the top of the Eiffel Tower, of course. One thousand feet above the city. You will have all Paris at your feet. And what time will the ceremony take place? At a quarter of four. Well, if it's a short ceremony, that should still give us time to make our appointment at four. Oh, it's a very short ceremony. Come along. Right this way, gentlemen, for the big ceremony. In honor of the occasion, we shall take the elevator to the very top. Parlez-vous! What a view! Oh, see over there, Monsieur Fogg, is the Louvre. And over there, Monsieur, the Arc de Triomphe, built to celebrate Napoleon's victory. Ah, Paris, Paris. There is not another city like it. See down there, the famous cathedral of Notre Dame. One of the most... Top floor, all out. Right this way. What a sight. This is the tallest man-made structure in the world, you know. Yes, I think it's a long way down. Glad to enjoy the view because you're going to have a long time to look at it. What? What? What about the key to the city? This is the only key you'd be interested in, and you're not going to get it. Can I? I've really fixed you this time, Fogg. You'll never make that four o'clock appointment. Only five minutes to go. Hey, pass my two. Don't jump to any conclusions. <laughs> Parlez-vous. What shall we do? You must have put something in.
in a bag that will get us out of here. <gasps> the bag! She's empty! Now we really are done for. We can never meet Monsieur Santos Dumont now. Oh, I wouldn't jump to conclusions, Passepartout. Or conclusions may jump on you. Here comes Mr. Santos Dumont now. Precisely. Alberto Santos Dumont is one of the great pioneers in airships. He has built and flown many airships like this. He flies regularly between the Eiffel Tower and the city of St. Cloud. Greetings, my friend Villiers. Come aboard. Look at that. Look at that. Now, what are you going to tell Lord Mice, Mr. Fix? Why not tell him the truth, Mr. Fix? And what's that, Mr. Fix? That everything's up in the air, Mr. Fix. Isn't this a marvelous way to travel past Patu? It's the coming thing. Why, in the future, everyone will travel like this by air. No traffic, no bumps, no dust, and no fixed plates. <laughs> Good show, past Patu. <laughs> Around the world in 80 days, pass for two, so Bob may marry Linda Mace. Pass for two, Bob may fail because of fix, and then Bob nicks his, nicks his tricks. Around the world with pass for two. Around the world in 80 days, so Bob may marry Linda Mace. Around the world with...